What's going on guys? It is still pretty early. This would be considered an oatmeal update. I already kind of had my breakfast and I got a little bar here for later. But you know, I've been warning you guys, if you follow us on Twitter, we've been looking at uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, stocks such as Coinbase, MicroStrategy, Riot, and Penn. Just having patience, sitting in cash and looking for lower. You can see all of our previous trades. We know we got rid of Bitcoin up here, over 30,000, bought it back at 28 eight and let it go at 29 one why because we saw this major waterfall <clears throat> also this was the um grayscale winning the court case we said we would be sellers of that rally look what happened we did see some volume here now it has come up that microstrategy has just bought another large sum of bitcoin with an average price a little over twenty seven thousand dollars i suspect a lot of this buying and a lot of this support while stocks were weak was microstrategy loading up on more bitcoin now we do see Multiple trend lines have given away. This white trend line gave away. I said, okay, now we got a purple trend line gave away. Now we're creating a bear flag gave away. Measured moves are completed, but we are sitting below the 200 moving average. We are oversold with looking like a potential bullish cross here on the RSA forming. The only downside is pre-market right now, stocks are down 34. Not a ton, but 0.34% down does not help Bitcoin do anything positive here. Now I did post yesterday on Twitter when this dump occurred. Hey, this is a decent time to start nibbling if you've sold at higher levels for our partial positions. Do not leverage long. Do not go 100% into Bitcoin. But if you want to get some partial positions, you sold up here at 29,100 with us. I don't hate getting some positions here with the outlook that maybe this is, you know, an ABC correction down completing and we do see some kind of five waves higher here and maybe stocks only are red for today and they find a relief rally as well, which will propel Bitcoin higher towards this 200 moving average towards $27,000. Coinbase, several trades on Coinbase. Our last one we sold again, what is this? This is the Grayscale News Pump when they won their court case. We sold it here at $85. We have an overhead buy in place, but look, we are forming a bullish divergence. This looks like a pre-market is at $69.95 below $70. So we potentially have a buy on that or maybe we lower our overhead buy with a worst case scenario measure move closer to $61.50. What else do we have to show you? Doge. I want Bitcoin to go down a little more because I want Doge to break and get us down around five and a half cents. If that happens, I want to be a buyer because I think Elon Musk will be integrating Doge into the X app and this will see a massive run up if that occurs. I have that marked here on the red line as well as the timing of that. Now that timing is just a guess. But this measured move is not a big rally of 13 cents. You would over double your money upon that integration announcement. MicroStrategy. We sold this thing for 25% gains at $390. Right now it is all the way back to $322 with a pre-market opening at $320. Again, this is going to form a bullish divergence between price and the RSI. A good setup, especially on the 4-hour. So I'll take a deeper look at that. But on the one hour, we are getting very close to a buy. Riot, here we go. Pre-market, 895. And again, going to be sitting on a bullish divergence, massive sell-off. We sold this for 53.3% gains, all the way up at $15.50. Once we sold it and had this rally, it was like, oh my God, you missed it. People were wanting to buy up here. They thought this was going to be another breakout and a continuation. We've had patience. And again, I've been telling you guys to have patience and look where that is heading. And then lastly, we want to get in on Penn after the partnership with ESPN. This was the FOMO pump up to $30 and that happened. I'm like, dang, I missed it, guys. We're going to have patience. This thing will retreat. I would be a blind buyer at $20. Well, so far, we've seen a low of $21.30, not quite to $20. Bucks. It had this institutional rally creating a gap. I said, well, we can't chase that. Let's look for this gap to fill in. What do you know? Today, the pre-market is starting to fill that gap at 22.18. We will be placing an overhead buy, lowering that. And if this full gap um, gets filled at 21.49, I will be a buyer between 20 and 21.49 on the complete gap fill. They have not announced the ESPN Bets platform yet, which will give it a pump. Also, we are in the third week of the NFL season, and NBA starts in just about three weeks. These are the largest betted uh, sports in America uh, by a long shot. So I want to be involved with this. I think they will see a big turnaround as they get legalization in more states. They have ESPN on board and they announce ESPN bets. But so far, patience has been king. People were chasing this above $30 and we are now getting opportunity down here at 20 to 18 with potential lower pricing coming. And lastly, in the video, if you've been following me, I have nailed this thing. Talked about it at the exact high. I put this yellow on. Haven't changed this line. Well, look at that. Measured move has now been met for this Adam and Eve. Here's the measured move mark. I 
put on here has not changed look back at my videos and we have more red market opening so pre-market down slightly i said the holy grail would be to get filled in this rectangle here and this is when institutions are paying 515 dollars pre-market on august 24th i potentially potentially if we get filled would be getting in somewhere we're already 18 percent cheaper than institutions or anywhere in here would be 28% cheaper and this would be 37% cheaper than institutions who make six seven figures to do their job and they just got outperformed by somebody with 35,000 followers on Twitter that's really the update guys patience is key it is paying out once again if you sold Bitcoin higher I don't mind you dabbling here because we are oversold on the one hour you know this could be an ABC correction completed maybe we have one more red day today in stocks and they turn green tomorrow so we get a real relief rally back up towards 27,000 so I don't hate it no leverage longs here and don't go full position longs in my opinion as we are looking for lower prices the worst case scenario to remain bullish is a price range of 23,800 23,800 up to 24,200 and this range is where we would want to be a buyer for the bull case to hold if 23,000 gives away well then we're in a whole heap of trouble and that's probably because something catastrophic has happened with Binance or Coinbase so still loving Bitcoin we are near the end of September next uh, or Q1 2024 is going to be explosive so we're trying to find our positions we're trying to buy back Bitcoin we're trying to buy back BNB we're trying to buy back Ethereum as we've sold all of these at higher levels and uh, that's kind of our play for now, guys. That's kind of our play. So stay tuned. We sold a bit B&B up here. Follow us on here on Twitter, on YouTube, on TikTok, whatever it may be. And if you want 24-7 access to our live trades, timestamp trades, over in Discord, you can see we answer questions. We have timestamped official trade entries, overhead buy limits. We give short-term higher risk trade entries. Yes, we've taken profits in Pulse Chain with Teddy Bear and SRF and PRS, etc., then join us, patreon.com slash learn crypto. We are here to help, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.